hello students so we are going to solve uh, one question on uh, a numerical on simple supported beam so main purpose of the conjugate beam method uh, it is useful when i is e i is changing okay so now we are going to solve a question for a simple supported beam where this uh, i is not constant so let's see the question so a simply supported beam of length 4 meter it carries a point of it carries a point load of 100 kN at its center the value of i uh, for the left half and for the right half is as given below so that i will write it out find the slope at the two supports and deflection under the load okay and e value is also given a uh, given so uh, how to solve this question let's start solving it so this is our question so here values given so let me just write down all the data this load is 100 kN total span is 4 meter so this is 2 meter acting in the middle of the beam so this is 2 meter this is 2 meter and value of i given okay let this go meter let me just name the b a b c a c is That is two meter. Load is hundred kilonewton. Now, uh, I value, okay? I value given for left half. He said uh, it's shown here. So I for AC is equal to one into ten to the power eight millimeter raised to four. So we can write it. We can convert it into Meter. So how we'll convert it into meter? Ten to the power eight divided by this is millimeter raised to four. Okay. So we will have to four times three, right? So we will write twelve. So we will get it as ten to the power minus four meter raised to four. Okay. Now I for B, I for B C. It is given as two into Ten to the power eight millimeter raised to four. So similarly, like this, we will convert ten to the power minus four meter raised to four. So see the difference. This is I and this is double of it, right? So this is I and this is two I. So this is important. You have to understand. We have to uh, remember this change. Okay, here. So this is I. This is so that's why this shape of the beam is like this this is i and this is 2i okay now e value e value given as e is equal to two hundred giga newton per meter square what do you mean by giga giga is 10 power 9 Newton per meter square. So we can convert it into kilonewton. Two hundred into ten power six kilonewton per meter square. Okay. Now, as load is acting in the middle, okay. So R A and R B is very easy. What will be support reactions? R A plus R B is equal to hundred kilonewton. So R A and R B will be equal to fifty kilonewton each. 
so that i does not matter here okay so r and r b will be 50 km now we have to draw this bending moment at so bending moment at this point so what will be or uh, this bending moment nothing but r a into 2 okay so that will be 100 kilo newton meter this is 50 kilo newton r a and r b is 50 kilo Okay, and moment for this B, moment at C is equal to R A into 2. So that is 100 kilonewton meter. So this particular is 100 kilonewton meter. So we draw a bending moment diagram first. Once we calculate the reaction, then draw the bending moment diagram. Now convert it into a conjugate E. Okay. So now here you need to be a uh, little careful. So while uh, while constructing this conjugate beam, okay, but so we have to divide this bending moment at any section by the product of E and I. Okay, we have to divide it by E and I. So E is uh, is constant throughout, but I is changing over here. Okay, so the conjugate beam uh, here uh, we can see the loading uh, are shown on the conjugate beam and the loading on the now let us. Uh, Name this beam first A star 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 E star. So here the loading as shown. In the figure, the loading are shown on the uh, on the conjugate beam. So loading on the length a star c star. Okay, loading will be like this because it is, it is only i is here, i is there. So it is only a uh, simple triangle. Okay. Uh, so this bending moment diagram, we have used the same triangle here. Okay, for conjugate beam. But for this part, you have to be careful because here two i is there. So whatever. This length is uh, there uh, that is 100 kilo newton meter that we have to divide because this is our m by er diagram m divided by er so here m is 100 divided by 2i so it will become 50 right so ordinate for the first triangle okay let us go step by step so for triangle for triangle a star a star C star, D star, okay. Ordinate C star, D star will be the same. It is bending moment at C divided by E to I for AC, right? So, bending moment at C is nothing but 100 kilo newton meter, that is 100 divided by E into I. Okay, so our ordinates remain the same for this particular triangle, but for triangle, other triangle, uh, B star, C star, E star means. For triangle B star, C star, E star, ordinate C star, E star is equal to, okay, this particular ordinate is equal to, again bending moment at C divided by E into I of BC. So here it is 100 divided by 2 ER. That is 50 by ER. Okay. So once you do these changes carefully, then remaining methods, you know, the calculation and remaining, it remains the same. There is no change. So you should be just careful when while forming the triangle when there is a change in I. 
so now again once we are done with this next step is to calculate reaction r a star r b star for the conjugate group okay so r a star r b star now consider moment about uh, a star or a support you can name them as a a star or a sorry so let us consider moment about a is equal to 0 let's write the equation rb star into total length is 4 meter okay now let us consider the two different triangles okay so the area of the triangle into cg distance plus area of the triangle into cg distance now when we consider moment about this point rb is in anti clockwise direction and this is going in clockwise direction for both the triangles okay only we when we need to be careful we need to care, be careful when we consider the cg distance okay so for this particular triangle cg will be placed over here so we have to consider here it is two third right this is a bigger length no so for this triangle two third of two okay and for this particular triangle cg will be placed here so we have to consider this whole length will be there two two plus this distance okay so how much is this distance this is nothing but one third of two meter this is two meter span no so one third of two this is the cg distance over here for the second track so once uh, you locate it then it becomes very easy so i'm uh, directly writing here so area of the first triangle half into base is 2, 2 height is 100 by EI, 2 CG distance is third of 2 plus area of second triangle half into 2. Now here height is 50 by EI into 2 plus this, this one I am writing 1 third of 2. Okay, so when you solve this. When we solve this, we get Rb star is equal to 200 by CEI. 200 by CEI. So, Ra star will be total load, right? Total load on the beam means total triangular load on the beam minus Rb star. Because, why it is so? Because we are simply doing summation of forces in y direction is 0. So, R A star plus R B star is equal to area of the two triangles. So, what is the area of the triangle? Half into 2 into 100 by E i plus half into 2 into 50 by E i. Okay. So, once we are done with this equation, we know what is R B. So, when you take R B this side, then we will get R A star is equal to 250 by okay so once we are done with this then becomes uh, only simple calculation so once we are done with the conjugate beam reaction calculation now only calculate what is the slope at the support now we are coming to the so what is the slope at the support so theta a theta is a slope at a okay for the given beam and theta b is a slope at the b so let us see what is theta a theta a is shear force at a star okay shear force at a star so what is shear force at a star it is nothing but r a star and that is equal to 250 by ei so we are we are done with the slope at a now we have to substitute the value of ei okay so 250 divided by e this is 3 ei okay. so 3 into 200 into 10 power 6 into 10 power 4 so this gives us theta a is equal to 0.004166 radians is our slope at the support. Now, let us see what is theta b. So, theta b is a shear force at b star for conjugate beam 
and that is equal to rb star that is equal to 200 divided by cei again substitute these values 200 into 10 power 6 this is minus 2 So here it is 0 0.0033 radius. Okay, so we are done with the slope. Now quickly calculate what is the deflection. So deflection that is under the load. Deflection we have to calculate under the load. So YC under the load means at point C, right, where load is acting. So deflection YC is equal to bending moment. Bending moment at point C star, bending moment at point C star of the of the conjugate beam. So what is bending bending moment at the conjugate beam? So we have to see okay, what is the bending moment at point C? So we have to take all the loads. We can calculate from this side or this side. So here let us calculate from this side. So when we consider bending moment at C, so we will write RA into total distance 2. Okay, this is clockwise. So RA into 2 uh, minus uh, area of the triangle into this particular CG distance, 1 third of 3. Okay, so that will be our bending moment. So let us write down YC is equal to R A star into 2 minus area of that triangle half into 2 into 100 by E i into C G distance 1 third of 2. Now this is 250 by C E i into 2 minus this is 2 and 2 get cancelled. This is 200. 200 by CEI. This is 500. 500 minus 200, 3A by 3A. So we get it as 100 by EI. So when we substitute values for uh, EI, that is 200 into 10 power 6 into 10 raised to power minus 4. So we get 1 by 200 meter. So to convert it into millimeter, let us multiply it with 1000. So when we do this calculation, we get YC is equal to 5 millimeter. Okay. So for this particular problem, we have calculated what is the deflection at the support and what is the slope at the support. That is theta A and theta B we have calculated and uh, what is the deflection. So whenever slope comes, slope means you remember it is shear force. Okay, slope is shear force and whenever bend, uh, deflection, so that comes with the calculation of bending moment. Okay, so remember this uh, change okay? since uh, all till now classes we are discussing this. Okay, so students hope you have understood this question. Next class also we will uh, solve some other uh, problem for the conjugate beam. Thank you for listening.